if you ever used a Peltier module in your projects, then you should familiar with their working. By applying a constant voltage of 12 volt, the one side gets hot and the other side gets cold. So in order to decrease the temperature below 0 degree, you have to apply a heat sink with a suitable fan to dissipate the heat as much as possible. This way you can reach a temperature to even freeze water. So if you want to run this whole setup on a 3S 5 amp hour battery, then with the current consumption of 3.5 amp, you will get a battery run time of roughly about 1.4 hours. But if you want to increase that time limit, you have to decrease the current consumption. For this, we have only two possible ways. First one is that we can limit the current of Palti module. But this will affect the performance of module. The second option is that we can control this DC fan according to the temperature. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. When it comes to temperature sensing, you always need a thermistor. There exist two types of thermistor. One with negative temperature coefficient and one with positive temperature coefficient. In case of negative temperature coefficient, when the temperature increase, the resistance decrease. But in the case of positive temperature coefficient, when the temperature increase, the resistance also increase. So for this project, you will need a negative temperature coefficient aka NTC type whose resistance will decrease when the temperature increase. Now in order to control the fan, you will need an op-amp. I am going to use this LM358 which is a dual op-amp IC through which I can create a comparator whose reference voltage is controlled by this potentiometer. Next, I make a voltage divider by the help of a thermistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor, whose output will directly connect to the inverted input of the op amp. By this comparator configuration, we can get 12 volt on the output. Whenever the voltage of voltage divider is greater than the voltage of potentiometer. Since this op amp cannot fulfill our high current demands, that's why I utilize a MOSFET. You can use any MOSFET with a maximum current of more than 5 amps. Now, by this potentiometer, you can set the temperature sensing level of the circuit. You can set the temperature to turn on the fan according to your needs. When I'm happy after the testing of circuit, I disconnect all the components from the breadboard and sort them out for soldering. Afterwards, I used the schematic as a reference and started creating a more permanent version on a piece of prof board. If you want to build something like this, you can get the part list and the circuit diagram in the video description. So after I completed the soldering process, as a last test, I inserted the heat sensor in the heat sink. Initially, as you can see that the temperature of heat sink is 27 degrees Celsius. Now let's power the Peltier module with the help of a battery. As you can see that the temperature of heat sink is rising. I set the potentiometer so that it will start the fan at 40 degrees celsius. So after a few seconds, as you can see that the temperature reached at 40 degrees celsius and the fan is already on. Okay, now let's come to the conclusion. The previous runtime we get is 1.4 hours, which is around 80 minutes. So after installing the temperature control circuit, we get a current consumption of 2.9 amps. By this 2.9 amps, we get a battery runtime of 1.72 hours, 
which is about 105 minutes. So if I subtract the previous runtime with the final runtime, we get an extra runtime of 25 minutes, which is pretty good I would say. If you have any questions regarding this project, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you like my creation, then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also share this video with your friends. Stay safe and I'll see you around.